one, new gear, starting a new mod, because Thrawn's Venge wasn't exactly my forte. The Galactic Conquest wasn't that fun. For me, anyways, I didn't like losing heroes after they would, well, yeah, losing heroes after they would die. And by that I mean, like, you wouldn't get them back. And that basically turned the heroes into a bunch of pussies in the sense that you would have to use them very carefully and very decisively. And I use heroes very aggressively and I know that they're expendable. But that that's not to say that Thrawn's Revenge is a bad mod at all. No, that's a, it's a really good mod, but I'm just looking for something else to play, you know, something where I could enjoy... And I think I'll enjoy this mod a bit more, and not just because of the title, which would be Rise of the Mandalorians. Uh, this is going to be a great mod, I can tell from the title. Now, as usual, I have no idea what the units are or what to expect from this mod, besides a bunch of, uh, well, imp uh, no, uh, um, Mandalorian units, not Imperial units. Because, you know, the uh, vendor, I was looking at the vendor and I thought, oh, Imperial, you know, no, 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 whatever. Uh, let's get Imperial March going, single player, Galactic Conquest, original enhance. Ah, the uh, menu screen is, uh, or the uh, buttons changed a little bit. Just the uh, thing here, that's great. Uh, we have one new map, Rise of the Mandalorians. The official Galactic Conquest stage for Rise of the Mandalorians contains all available planets set in their proper grid coordinates with proper faction owners. So we're probably going to do that mod, and we can also choose our side, Mandalorians, New Republic, or Imperial Remnant. So this is set, from what I consume, the same time era approximately where Thrawn's Venge Revenge took place, so about the Second Galactic Civil War-ish. But that's not to say that it is. This could be totally fake, it never happened. As far as I know, there were no real Mandalorian uprisings after the uh, Neo-Crusades. Or no, the uh, Crusades, not Neo-Crusades. Ah, but anyways, we'll be playing... Obviously, the Mandalorians. Start on Tech 2, Max Tech 5, sounds good to me. Let's do it. Oh, wait, no, we just did that. Uh, medium, hard. Well, let's assess the uh, AI difficulty a little bit and crank it up once we have an actual fleet going. But, man, th this just the name of this mod is getting me hyped up. More so than absolute corruption. Alright, equal footing. Incoming message from Tabrazan, nothing changed there. Shock! We have a bunch of Mandalorian heroes. So we have Aden Verda. Uh, can't pronounce his name. Missing! Oh, great, we have Missing Known here. We have Boba Fett, looking oddly feminine. Wow, that is quite a uh, name glitch. Goran Bevlin. That's... wow, that <laughs> And Legacy of Duxon. Nice. Alright, so we have uh, Duxon. Eh? We have the uh, HUD change, too. So we have Mandalorian Warriors to build. Raiders. F field Commanders. Assault Troopers. And BL Series Battle Legion Air Droids. Sounds oddly familiar. And we have Gladi Gladiator Class Assault Fighters. A Vengeance Class Fighter... Or uh, those vengeances. And it looks like the planets are si uh, scaled up a bit. Some planets have been replaced. Like, uh, let's see. We have... Oh, Vulpiter is in the center. Great. I like that planet for some reason. We have Alderaan in ruins. Solist is over there. We have Alzok 3 all the way on the bottom. Utapau a bit farther away from Mustafar. Ryloth and Hypori down there. Sholan. Aiten 2. Or A. Aiten 2. I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Whatever. 
So we just have a bunch of infantry to build. That's great. What do we have for ships here? We have Kier, Galar class heavy bombers, Tuscan Q8s, Super Fighter, <laughs> Gladiators, Interceptor 4, uh, Interceptor class frigate Mark 4, my bad, sorry, Crusader class gunship, Star Vipers, and Interceptor class Mark 3s. Mm. Oh, yeah, obviously we also have Mandalore over here. Okay, so nothing new yet in the way of units, but then again, I'm only at Tech 2? I believe I started at Tech 2. And I do not have any build, uh, build, uh, technology, stuff like that. Special Operations Agent. Cool. But that could change, so we have Canaris Tanks. Magnapulse tanks, the same old, same old from... Ah! Ah! Basilisk war droids! Nice! I like that. Gotta get me some of them war droids. So this must be uh, a... Well, obviously a... Ah, what's the word I'm thinking of? A consortium expansion. So in other words, mostly uh, stuff for the... Uh, for the consortium. Getting a little bit of a sore throat today. So, all I need to do for that is find something that can let me either corrupt or tech up. Because I really want to know how to do that. Let's do Verda. Let's try that guy. Nope. Have, ah, the. Ah, poor thing. Okay, you're a bounty hunter. Oh, yeah. Class Mandalorian Protector. Who are you? You're missing now. Okay. And you're a smuggler. Alright, so we have the basic classes down. What about you? Have we tried you? Other missing no. Fantastic. We have two missing no's. And no. He kind of looks like Scorch. Missing no, too. Oh, well. Let's see how well these uh, war droids hand up, handle themselves. I need to get a space fleet going. That's what I need to do right now. I don't have that much money at all. My daily income is 595. This is going to be slow starting. I could just sell some stuff, like the barracks here. Don't need the barracks. I have a bunch of other planets with barracks for them. On them. Whatever. Let's have a mining facility there. I could buy another mining facility. Level 5 space station here. So we have... Yeah, we already went through that. Why am I going through it again? But yeah, obviously the uh, menu is changed dramatically. This is Forces of Corruption. And yet a lot of things are blue here. The menu is the... Uh, the pause and fast forward. Even this thing. Alright, so... Now we have 700 credits. 700 whole credits. Yeah, this is really living up to its name, this mod. Rise of the Mandalorians. You really have to rise up. Money-wise. Alright, so we have Dantooine, Moonlist. Atseri is pirate-controlled. So is Kessel. Can I get to Kessel? Yes, I can. And I'm probably going to strike there first. Let's bring these guys with us. Hey, Interceptor Frigate Mark 3s. Alright. Let's see how many of these heroes are space-based. I would assume most of them, if not all of them, are. Oh, we also have a Reciprocator class frigate. That's awesome. We'll send uh, him... No. We'll send in the Star Vipers in first. Now this makes sense to me why the uh, Mandalorians in this mod are using almost identical technology that the uh, Consortium used. Because, well, a lot of the uh, units that the Consortium used were 
based off of, if not made from, Mandalorian technology. So the inter no, not the Interceptor, the Crusader class gunship was made from Mandal motors. The Star Viper, same deal. Really blue mod. A little bit of a sound glitch there. It's all right. Nice. Hey, look, the advisor is a Mandalorian now, too. Awesome. All right, so you're a slave, too. No. Oh, crap. Okay. Wow, big explosion. Nice explosion audio there, quality-wise. You are... Okay, you're a transport, so you're land-based. Same deal. Alright, so the HUD is drastically changed. So this is basically a Vengeance 2... A, Ven a Vengeance Cruiser with shields. That's great. Alright. Well, let's try Aden. Ooh. What's up? What's up? Aggressor class. Nice. I need that right now. Let's try missing. No, nope. You're a slave two. You should, should be able to do it. Slave one, go figure. Let's try Rom. Holy Cadelby! Nice! Nice. Nice Cadelby. Nice, nice, nice. Same loadout for the Cadelby class. The explosions are changed dramatically. So we have a plasma burst, we have a laser defense, diamond boron satellite, the same thing. Yeah, even uh, Aden, he's using the same sound as uh, a Vengeance and Tiberzon. He's a little bit of both. Alright, so let's bring in our... Uh, no, nah, we don't need fighters. Nah, nice custom audio there. Great, great. This is, so far, a fantastic mod. Send in these vengeances. We should be fine now. Alright, so the missing nose, they are not space grade. That's fine. As long as I don't use he or lose heroes permanently when they die, I'm fine. That's my only gripe for Ah <sighs> for Theron's Revenge. That is weak an enemy, huh? Alright. Thought that was invulnerability for some reason. You are Boba, right? No, yeah, you are Boba. Alright, well, we need, uh... We need some help with the, uh, seismic charge. Oh, crap, that was invulnerability. Nice explosions, man. Fantastic. Wow, what was that? I caught a little bit of that. Wow, this uh, legacy of Duxon guys. He sounds really Mandalorian. Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit tired. I kind of am a little bit, but I'm also developing a little bit of a sore throat. Hopefully, it won't turn into a uh, sniffless. And not syphilis, sniffless. I just call uh, a cold sniffless. I have a little bit of a sore throat. Wow, come on. Let's bring this... So yeah, obviously things are resized dramatically. Other than that, wow. This battle was pretty easy, but then again it was against pirates. Nice. Alright, so... Come on. So, there is some Boba Fett in here. 
some Boba Fett lines. That's all right. Lost some Star Vipers. Nice wind music. Pirate mercenaries. Rick's class salt ship. The usual pirate crap that they use. I wonder how tough these Mandalorians are. I would expect them, if they're using traditional Mandalorian armor, I would expect them to be pretty damn tough. Because, well, it's it's Mandalorian armor, bro. What else is there? Ah, oh, these assault troopers. They seem to be the kind that I'm talking about. The Mandalorian warriors, they don't seem to be using the Beskar gom, if you want to put it in a Mandalorian term. Oh, Wayland is also under pirate control. Alright. Alright, let's attack Kessel. That was easy. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't need that right now. I'll hold my forces over it. Okay, so the buildings, they haven't changed. Ah, combat laboratory. Mercenary barracks. Mandalorian factory. Mandalorian headquarters. The same, same thing that we've seen a million times. We've seen this a dozen times. No problem. Alright, so... Other than that, outside forces, they have been minimal compared to Thrawn's Revenge, where I was just getting my ass handed to me every other day. Seriously, man, I mean... Okay, so you two missing nose. No, Aden, you are... You're good. Okay, you two are the missing nose. I call him missing no because, well, it's missing and, you know, there's a Pokemon missing no. And missing no appeared whenever there was a glitch in the system. And, you know. Why am I even explaining this? I don't even know. Alright, well, let's, uh. Try not and overexpand a little bit. Try not to. What is this? That's a repulsor lift jammer. Okay. Alright, alright. Mandalorian headquarters. That is. Allows the creation of unique units. We should put that on Mandalore. Mandalorian headquarters on Mandalore. 